All right, guys, so it is nine, oh, wait, time is it? 10, 11, 12, geez, 11, 12 p.m. Uh, <laughs> we're in Michigan. We're, I'm a little slap happy because I'm drinking caffeine, which uh, most of you guys know I don't need caffeine to be hyper, but got my good buddy Adam, got Marge, got Maddie, got the dogs back there too, and we're gonna drive to North Carolina <laughs> in the middle of the night. You excited? <laughs> you excited, Maddie? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's a long, it's gonna be a long trip, so stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, it's 1.30 in the morning. We are at Love's Truck Stop and uh, we've got about uh, seven and a half hours to go. <laughs> All right, it's four o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're in Kentucky. We're at a, a truck stop right here, putting some gas in uh, the bass squash truck here. We got the dogs back here. Let's see how the doggies are doing. Doing good, Liberty. Cedar's back there. Uh, we're gonna switch drivers here, so uh, my good buddy Adam is gonna take the wheel. We got about four hours and 55 minutes left, according to our GPS. So Adam's gonna jump in. Um, I've been up for, geez, almost 24 hours already. So uh, I'm extremely tired. I, I look really tired. I feel really tired, uh, but we got to Kentucky. So we'll switch. I'll see if I can get a couple hours sleep. And that's all I'm gonna be running on is a couple hours. And then we'll be at the Feel Free uh, US headquarters right here uh, coming up soon when we get North Carolina and uh, and then our day starts and then we have a guided fishing trip and uh, hitting up Asheville, a whole bunch of stuff. And then we get to do this whole drive over again in reverse. So uh, I'm gonna go inside, go to the bathroom, get some food, take the dogs out. And then I'm gonna hopefully get a couple hours of sleep before we get to our spot. So life on the road. Stay tuned guys and uh, follow along and uh, you can be part of the journey with us. So let's go. a.m. the sun's coming up and uh, I finally get him some sleep so I'm gonna try to get a couple more hours but we got about about three hours left here so Adam's over here taking the wheel and being the captain of the ship and doing good how's the drive been everyone's sleeping in the back and now we're gonna get there so stay tuned guys we'll be at feel free US in North Carolina in about three hours Okay, so we're at the Feel Free headquarters in Asheville, North Carolina, technically Swannanoa Falls, but uh, check out the warehouse. This place is, this is like heaven for kayakers. There's just boats and boats and boats and boats. And one of the coolest things about this place is that it is the most relaxing place and everyone gets around on skateboards. So there's a, uh, there's skateboards at every entrance and exit. So uh, when you want to get around the warehouse, then you just jump on a board and you have some fun and you skateboard. And that's how you get around the warehouse. So check out all the boats here. This place is uh, pretty insane how many kayaks are in this place.
It's funny because the first time I ever came here, I was like, wait, you get to skateboard around work all day? I'm like, that's pretty cool. So you just leave the skateboards like this. And this is how everyone gets around, is skateboarding. I guess. What's up, Clay? Not so much. I like your little, your little book. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. That one's gotta be so much harder. <laughs> I got the longest one you have. This one's so fun to rip around the corners in here. It's like definitely a little added challenge. <laughs> dude, look at the size difference in this. Look at that. All right, so this is Clay. This is customer service master. Exactly. What's your actual title? Is it just customer, customer service warranty manager. Can we call you warranty master? Sure. Awesome. Whatever you want. So if you guys ever have any warranty problems and you know how good of a service and warranty that Feel Free always has, this is the guy right here. He's the All behind right. the curtain. He's the wizard behind the curtain. So uh, we'll be back in a minute here soon. We're officially in downtown Asheville, walking around looking for a place to eat. We got dogs with us because the Airbnb isn't available yet. We got Liberty walking over here. What do you think of downtown Asheville so far? It's pretty. What do you guys think of downtown Asheville? <laughs> oh, we love it. Um, so far? It is stinky. Yes. Um, there are Not some interesting people. Not what I expected. Yeah, it's it's interesting for sure. Yes. Interesting. Ooh, let's see if this place, is this place open? Oh, there's a couple spots here. Let's see if this spot's open and we can get some food. We're here at Issa's French Bistro here in downtown Asheville, and I gotta, I gotta share this food with you guys. Look at this. That's what Adam ordered. Looks amazing. What's up, Mark? Look at that. I don't even want to eat. Look, look, look how good that looks. Like, you can't eat that. Here's what Maddie got. It Jeez. is a sandwich, Maddie. You just gotta put oh, yeah. the egg inside the croissant. Yeah. Adam, there you go. And here's my salad. Look at this. What is that? I don't know. This place a, looks amazing. I cannot wait to eat this. This looks incredible. Like, um, After this, we're going to head to the Airbnb, and I think we're going to take a very much needed like nap, get the dogs really some rest, and then uh, we got some fishing to do today, but, weird, but I, I cannot wait to get this. Like this is looks amazing. Oh, yeah. All right, so we just got to the house here in West ooh, ooh. Asheville. And uh, this place is beautiful. Let me show you guys around. All right, I'm gonna show you guys around the house. So this is our uh, our home base for the night. Really cute little farmhouse. Of course, we got our fuel free cooler right here full of our beverages. Nice little kitchen. A little hallway, a little bathroom, like a really cute little country home. We got some books to read tonight. This is uh, Adam and Margie's room over here. They sleep separately. I'm just joking. <laughs> and uh, this is mine and Maddie's room over here. We got Cedar over here. Liberty so, over so, here. So. What do you think, Maddie? It's really cute. I haven't really like explored. They have a lot of books I'm excited to look through. I'm not reading any of those. Oh, well, I'm excited to look through them. There's towels. This is a cute house, um, but the coolest part about this house is the backyard. So let me show you guys what the backyard looks like. So we got this really cool deck right here. Definitely hanging out here tonight. Check this out. This is nice. Nice little backyard deck. We got a big circle driveway. Uh, we got a fire pit back there. Uh, fire pit over here too. That's a nice one right there. We can hang out by the fire tonight. Uh, it's definitely super nice. So country living in uh, West Asheville in North Carolina. And uh, I'm really excited. Uh, we're gonna try to take a quick power nap because we're all working on like an hour of sleep total. Then we're gonna go get the kayaks, go hit the water and do some North Carolina fishing. So stay tuned guys, a whole lot more coming. Ooh. Got a quick like half hour sleep really fast at the house. Uh, gonna jump in the truck and we're gonna head back to feel free now and go grab my two kayaks that I needed. Throw them in the truck right here. Hopefully they're gonna fit back here. This is gonna be the tough part. We're gonna try to fit these kayaks in the back over the window, tailgates down, or tailgates up still. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try this. So me and Adam are gonna head to feel free get our kayaks and then we're gonna go hit the water and go fishing. All right, so we got the kayaks from Feel Free uh, loaded up. 
this board's a lot faster holy crap all yeah. right uh, got them loaded up here and uh sticking out quite a way so we got some straps to put on here right here and uh some other goodies to strap in here but then we're gonna go to the water do some fishing and uh we had some ingenuity here to strap these things in first so let's hope this works All right, we're here at, uh, I think it's called Lake Julian is the place we're at. I got some rods that I think I would need. I got my FX Custom Rod Angler Series and one of my Titanium Series. I got my Feel Free bag loaded here with my NRS Chinooks, Matic and Automatic Life Jackets. Maddie's got my Nat with some other gear, some of my Yak Attack accessories. Uh, we got Adam's carrying my Black Pack with all my tackle in it. Marge is carrying her water. <laughs> and that tells you how the rolls are, uh, the, the gender rolls are here. <laughs> We got the three three men. No offense, Maddie. What? Dude, you're doing all the labor too. Do but to we're linking up with uh, my good buddy Craig Gorton over here. He is the founder and uh, operator of Foundum Fishing Charters right here in Asheville, North Carolina. And we're gonna get on some kayaks and I'm, I'm really excited. So let's go up and see Craig. What up? Hey. We're here for some fishing. Yeah, it's right there. I don't know. That big body of water. Hey. How are you doing? How's it going, man? I'm Craig. I'm Adam. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Going on? How you doing? On, Mike, nice to meet you. Hi, Madison. Madison. Hi, Madison. And Margie. Margaret. Margaret. Nice to meet you. I'm Craig. Nice to meet you. You guys are just in time. And by in time, I mean I'm an hour late. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I see somebody out fishing right now. That's my dude, Scotty. Oh, okay, good. Yep. I'm like, he's gonna feel free. Yeah, he brought one of his lures out. <coughs> so make sure you guys check out Foundum Kayak Fishing Guide. There's all the info right there. Um, but only if we get fish. If we don't get fish, don't call him. I'm just joking. Yeah. I'm just joking. It's called fishing, not catching, and we're out here to go fishing, not guaranteeing anything, but we're guaranteeing a good time. So, uh, what kind of kayaks do we got going today? We got all lures. All lures and one sea stream pedal drive. Sweet. So let's go check out the kayaks we're gonna be in. Great. You can bring that crate over here, Adam. I just got everything unloaded. So look at this. We got a nice, a nice mess here of uh, yak attack and feel free stuff. My favorite, some NRS stuff. We got some feel free pedal drives. We got a C stream. We're gonna be good to go. This is gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited. I haven't been in a, in a lure in a long time. And I'll tell you guys something really cool. That right there, the Lure 11.5 was my first fishing kayak I've ever had. So it's gonna be kind of fun. So let's get some fish. Let's go. All right, so one of the first things I got to do, of course, is I got to set up this kayak somewhat like mine is at home, so I'm used to it. So I got my Yak Attack Omega Pro rod holder here. I have like a little sidearm thing. Uh, I like keeping this away from the kayak and the cockpit. That way my feet don't hit it when I'm pedaling. I got my travel black pack right here. And in it, I have all of my, I call it my travel gear. So I have uh, pan fish stuff, shallow crank, slobber knocker, chopo top water, pan fish, square bill, hooks, and all my general stuff. So all my Plano boxes are loaded, ready to go with some uh, some extra trailers right here too. Um, and then I got four rods. You want to show these over here? I got four different rods set up. I got three finesse set, set, setups and a slobber knocker setup. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out. So once I get this kayak rigged up and get all their kayaks together, we're gonna go hit the water and. Hopefully get some fish. So how many of those are you gonna use? How many of those what? How many of the baits? Baits, yeah. Um, so the, the rule of fishing is you bring everything you can and you use one thing because you're a stubborn fisherman. So probably won't ever use anything in here, but if I need it, I have it. And that was worth me bringing this thing down, so. Is that just like an ego thing? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say no, but. So it's an ego thing? It's probably an ego thing. Okay. It just I have to have everything Does every me. fisherman do it? Um, like fishermen and women? The question is, does every fisherman Or is it just admit, a guy thing? Does every fisherman admit to doing it is the question because I think every fisherman brings everything they can and they swap out baits yeah. all the time looking for fish. Yeah. I like to throw them what I'm confident with and throw it until the fish decide to bite it. So I probably won't need anything, but if I lose any of my baits, I have all the spares and backups. And if any of these guys need anything, I have it. But I think Craig's got all the gear we need too. So anything I'm missing, I think he's gonna have. Did you introduce Craig to the camera? Um, I think I did, but you know what? Roll call. Boom! Introduce yourself. Tell me who you are, what you do. Hey guys, I'm Craig. Uh, I own Foundum Kayak Fishing Guides. I'm based out of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, today we're on Julian. Uh, it's a small local lake to Asheville. Bunch of spotted bass in it, really clear water. Um, How do you think we're gonna do today? I think that we're gonna catch them on top water in about an hour and a half. Okay. So like probably towards the end of the day, 
aside from that we'll probably just throw some wacky rigs around there's a bunch of um grass that's grown up weed lines and stuff like that to fish out on this lake it's really pretty it's like a little community lake there's no outboards allowed so it's really perfect for kayaking paddling so one thing i like to do is when i don't have electronics with me when i'm traveling i notice visible structure so i see like down trees over here i see like the slope of the ground you can see those underwater points coming out there are. so i'm assuming there's going to be some hopefully some fish sitting low but what's the water temp down here though it's got to be hot it's probably 88 for the surface temperature ish we had about right 70 now. in michigan like this is very different from what i'm used to yeah it's um it's definitely been unseasonably hot here just like just like i was just saying as, as well as the rest of the country so 88 is, uh, is hot for north carolina um once you get down off the mountain gen that's pretty normal but normally we sit at around 82. all right so I, i'm gonna take his advice and i think that we're gonna get some fish on finesse today but i also got my chapos with me so if we got to turn top water on i'm ready so let's get these kayaks loaded up get all the overdrives put in the pedals ready to go and let's get some fish what do you think you excited yeah ready to get out there are you nervous or excited excited awesome margaret you nervous or excited excited yes maddie I just don't want to fall in. She's like, if you guys ever seen like the uh, extreme challenge when they jump up, they're like, I'm a plumber. That's like what she just did. If you haven't seen that, look it up because then you'll understand why it's funny. All right. Fishing time. I'm very All right. So I'm in the lure, the lure 11.5. This is actually the first model I ever had of these kayaks. Maddie's in the lure for the first time. She's got a flash at home. So it's going to be different for her. Adam's in the sea stream 120 uh, and Marge is in the lure 11.5 as well. What do you guys think so far? Pretty sweet. Yeah. We'll hang out right here. I got mine. What do you think right so far? First impression? It's like, a, like you said, like a bike. Way better than a normal kayak? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, we're getting us one of these. Yeah, she's got a flash right now, which has the Easy Rider seat, which is awesome, but she's never sat in a gravity seat. Now she has, yeah. and. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's good. That's gonna cost me money now. Yes, thanks, thanks, is, Craig. Baby. Appreciate it. Marjorie, think first impression. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting in her line. Just wait till she spends more time in it and gets her first fish in it. It's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna try to bring all the footage to you guys, but I'm gonna be busy catching fish. So let's go. All right, no fish yet. We've got a few casts in. Sun's going down. Water temps are in the 80s, which is crazy for me. Uh, we don't have that in Michigan, uh, but the scenery is beautiful. Like, I really don't care if we catch fish. I want to get a fish, but I really don't care. I hope Adam and Margie get a fish. Uh, Maddie's caught fish before, but I hope those two get their first fish in a kayak. But in all honesty, we're having a great time with good friends. And uh, we're out in kayaks right now in North Carolina with this view with these mountains everywhere. And the weather's perfect. So I'm totally fine just sitting here chilling and floating. So let's see if we get a fish, though. Well, even when you're not catching fish, it's fun just being out here. Because you know what you're not doing? You're not sitting at work. Exactly. Sounds good. We'll get him in the boat. Don't play with your food. Let's see him. Fish are friends, not food. Watch your hook. Here, pedal forward over here, Craig. Dude, that's a beautiful spot. Look at that. Look at that coloring. It's nicer in the water, but yeah, that's pretty. Wacky rig. Look at that fish. So solid. <laughs> Maddie got a fish and she's scared of fish. Okay, hold, hold on. Pedal backwards, pedal backwards. You got this. I'm not touching Okay, come backwards. That's heavy. Okay, don't lift it up like that, babe. Paddle backwards. Paddle backwards. Keep going. All right. What is it? That is a little largemouth bass. Look at that. Maddie got a fish. Woo! On the wacky. Yes. Fish on. Oh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Looks like a largie to me. So it's a largie. Get over here. There we go. Look at that. 
Good job. Look at that, grass in the mouth and everything. This is why I bring my ugly stick 90 degree pliers thing right here because this thing is, dude, best pliers I've ever had in my life. That thing was right on its tongue. Look at that bass. Yes. This is Sam. It's Sam. Look at that. Nice large mouth. My first fish of the day. Hopefully not my last, but we'll see. But nice North Carolina largemouth bass. Check that out. All right, let's go. All right, that was a blast. I had a lot of fun and uh, I got a fish and I didn't skunk. Maddie got a fish, she didn't skunk. Craig got a fish, he didn't skunk. Uh, Margie and Adam didn't get a fish, but they just wanted to relax and have fun. They both put their rods down for a while, just wanted to float, enjoy the beautiful scenery out here as the sun's going down. And uh, man, these Lure 11.5s right here from Feel Free. I forgot how beautiful these are. I'm so used to these bigger kayaks and you know, I've had every model that this company makes. Sea Stream, Free Waters, Feel Free. And I'm telling you, this boat does it all. It's agile, it's small, it's quick. I mean, look at this. We're all just kind of cruising right here. If I want to speed up, look at this thing. Hey, Margie, what'd you think? It's relaxing, isn't it? That's why I always tell people, it's not even about catching fish, just getting out. Yeah. It's just, it's so nice. It is fun, it's coming out of the water, it's relaxed. What do you think, Adam? Good. It's fun? I need one of these mics, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Only time I've had it. All right, well, we're gonna go head in. We all had a good time. And uh, we're gonna go check out some Asheville stuff, have some fun, and then go back to the house and uh, go out for a night, but <laughs> we'll see you soon, North Carolina. Normally I wet wash these, but this will do it today. That'll do it. This will do it. Overall consensus, fun? It was fun, I caught a fish and I named um, it. I need to work on my tan, yeah, I'm gonna get one. What do you think, Craig, how'd it go? So much fun. We only had a couple hours, but we got it done, brother. Yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. All right, make sure you guys go check him out. Found him kayak fishing guides right here in North Carolina, right there. Get out and uh, find some fish. It'll be a lot of fun, but we're gonna go hit the town and have some fun. So stay tuned guys. There's a whole lot more to come in this vlog. Mike's gonna look back at this footage and be like, what's going on? <gasps> this is such a good song. <laughs> She's like, bitch, what do you know? Dance, come on. Wow, good moves. <laughs> Cedar gets his time to shine. So dance. Dance. I don't know, hold it up. Liberty, dance. Yes. Does Liberty do it too no. or no? Liberty's lame. She's just jumping. We are tired. We are tired. It is a it is eleven. Alright, we're here at Wicked Wicked Weed Brewing here in Asheville, North Carolina. Maddie's having fun. Adam and Mark are having fun. This is the amazing looking burgers. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. So we're gonna have some food, have some fun here in Asheville, and then uh, go back to the house. All right, it's 12.33 in the morning. Um, this has been one heck of a, of a journey and adventure. We left the house uh, last night, um, Thursday night, and drove all throughout the night. I got about an hour of sleep. Adam got about two hours of sleep. He slept for like two hours while I was driving for the first five hours. I slept for like an hour while he drove the last five hours. Uh, and then we both got like about a half hour to an hour like midday nap today after we went and did a bunch of stuff this morning. Um, went out to lunch, had an awesome time on the water out fishing, racing, pedaling kayaks. I mean, just a whole lot of energy exerted. We went and had an amazing dinner and some drinks down in downtown Asheville. It's a beautiful town. I had so much fun. 
now we're gonna hang out watch some tv um kind of unwind and go to sleep because tomorrow we gotta drive back to michigan so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and hanging out with all of us and make sure you guys check out the guide service we use today it's a uh, found him kayak fishing guides in north carolina uh check them out craig did a great job getting us on some fish today and uh Check out Feel Free, all the cool kayaks we used today. You can see the Feel Free Lure 11.5 that we used, the Sea Stream Angler 120 PD, and all the other cool kayaks they offer. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and see all the behind the scenes pictures from the whole trip, too. And we will see you soon. All right. So it's early in the morning on uh, what day is today, it's Sunday, Saturday. I don't know what day it is ever. And uh, we're packing up the house, getting all of our stuff together. Uh, getting the coolers, getting, uh, you know, all of our stuff, everything, the dogs over here, uh, getting everything together, loading up, but we have to find a creative way to make sure that we can get both kayaks and the truck. So I kind of miscalculated the, the, uh, measurements here. We're trying to fit the 10 foot and 12 and a half foot kayak in the bed of the truck with the tailgate closed. So they'll be sticking up over the top, but I think they're too tall. Either way, we got to go configure that, figure that out, get all of our stuff in the truck. We have to check out of this Airbnb in about a half hour. So uh, it'll be fun. But then we're going to hit the road, drive all the way back to Detroit. Uh, it's about a 10 hour drive or so or more, depends on how much we stop. If we drove straight through, it's like 10 hours. Um, but we're going to take our time. I think we're going to stop in like Tennessee and Kentucky. And uh, we're going to kind of take our time heading back, grab some breakfast, grab some lunch and uh enjoy the road trip back home so uh asheville was amazing it was a lot of fun here uh airbnb was nice everyone we met was nice uh driving was kind of tough the roads here are pretty crazy but uh it's gonna be fun so what do you think man did you have fun yeah i want to be here longer yeah we're definitely coming back yeah asheville is definitely cool and north uh, we're definitely coming back though. Uh, not just to Asheville, but North Carolina alone is awesome. So uh, we will uh, be back and explore more of North Carolina. I'll show Maddie some more. I've been here quite a few times, but uh, there's a lot of things I haven't seen here either. So, but either way, let's get loaded up and let's see if we get these kayaks in front of the truck and start driving home. All right. Kayaks are strapped down, uh, time to hit the road. I'm gonna stop and grab a flag for this one because it's sticking out about three and a half feet. Four feet is supposed to be when you have a flag on it, but I'm gonna put a flag on the back of this anyway because we have a long drive. So I'm gonna stop and grab some flags, put them on the back of these kayaks, and then jump in the truck and hit the road. So we are road trip ready, going back. Uh, North Carolina was awesome, thanks for having us, and uh, let's go hit the road together, guys. We're driving through Knoxville, Tennessee here, and uh, I was trying to tell the guys and tell Maddie that we can't pass this without stopping. So we're at Bucky's, but we're not at just any Bucky's. This is like the Bucky's. This is the biggest Bucky's I've ever seen in anywhere in the country. Uh, I've never been to this one either, but this is like the Bucky's. Like no joke, hundreds and hundreds of cars waiting for parking spots. Like there was a line, it took us like a half hour to get here, to get in the entrance. Like, this is no joke. So let's see what it's all about. <laughs> it's like a gas station, I'm telling you. Of your first, um, what, it, do you, what do you think of your first Bucky's experience? It's overwhelming. There's a lot of people. It was a big wait. I don't get the hype of it. If you're a Bucky's fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> like this is this place is crazy. I've been to small Bucky's. I've never been to a big one like this. This is insane. Bucky shorts. Those are Adam's length. 
Bucky's towels. Bucky's bobbleheads. All right, we survived Bucky's with just one bag of stuff, which isn't bad. What do you think, Maddie? Um, I'll take the camera. Oh, again, it's very overwhelming. There's a lot of people. Like, I don't, I don't get the hype. I don't understand the hype of it. That's all I have to say. Hey, look, someone's got a few free moken in the back of their truck. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bucky's is a acquired thing for sure. Is this the right exit? Do we come out the right side? We're in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, we're stopping at this restaurant right back here called Pharmacy with an F. Uh, it's a really nice looking restaurant. We're gonna stop and get some food, hang out in Knoxville for a little bit, and then uh, head back on the road. The kayaks look good. Everything's strapped down good, so let's have some good food. Looks good. Let's get some breakfast for lunch. What'd you think of the food, Maddie? It was really good. You tired? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was good food. We came in here and it was like a thunderstorm or a rainstorm, I should say, and now it's like sunny as heck out here. Um, but that was great food though, it was spicy. I put too much hot sauce on my food. I like Asked for my hot sauce on the side to make sure I didn't do too much, and then I just like dumped the whole thing on there. My like my face was warm. No, my nose was running, and it was it was spicy. But uh, we're gonna get back in the truck here, get all loaded up, then we're gonna leave Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, finish our drive. And uh, we might end up stopping one more time, uh, but that's about it. So let's get on the road. Thank you, Knoxville. All right, as you can see behind me, at the Kentucky Welcome Center, right in front of us is the state line between Tennessee and Kentucky. Um, this is the Kentucky side. So, welcome to Kentucky. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is fun to do in Kentucky. What's your favorite thing to do if you're ever in Kentucky or if you live in Kentucky and you've driven through Kentucky? What's your favorite thing to do right here in Kentucky? And we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. So, let's go. Welcome to Kentucky. All right, so we just got out of Kentucky and we are entering Cincinnati. So downtown Cincy is right here in front of us. Do not take Cincy. It's, it's called Cincy. No, so it's not called Cincinnati. It's downtown Cincy right here. Uh, so goodbye Kentucky and hello Ohio. Hello New York. Gas station cotton candy. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the, the whole view here. So I got orange cream. What'd you get? Mine doesn't have a flavor. <laughs> it's just blue. Yeah. Just cotton candy flavor. All right, hold on. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Cheers. <laughs> try it. Here. <laughs> you get on touch your here. No. <laughs> Put it back in. Mike's a germaphobe if you don't know. Yours is better. I'm done. I don't want any more. <laughs> Yours is good. Um, Gas yeah, station cotton candy. Here. Okay. What is this one? Uh, orange cream. All right. So uh, it is 11 o'clock at night. Uh, we're almost back to Detroit right there. Uh, looks like we have about a, almost two hours left. So it's dark out. Adam's over here driving right now and filling in. Pretty good trip, so let's get back home. All right, back in Michigan. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the behind the scenes vlog of this trip. Make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube and see all the other behind the scenes stuff that we do, including the tips and tricks and everything else we do on this channel. Make sure you watch our full episodes here on the Discovery Channel and the Pursuit Channel and follow us on Instagram for behind the scenes pictures. Thanks for watching the vlog guys and we'll see you soon.